Hi all, today in the read code series, we'll be attending this Petari large system problem. This is one of my personal favorite and it is pretty interesting. So let's start with the problem description. Uh, in this, I'll be given an array nums which consists of non-negative integers and an integer m. And you can split that array into m non-empty contiguous subarrays. Okay, and we have to write an algorithm to minimize the largest sum among these m subarrays. So this question, it basically means that uh, you'll be given an array okay and uh, let's say this is my array and i have to break this array into m sub arrays okay they'll give me a number m and i have to break it break this into m sub arrays such that the length the largest val the largest sum of a sub array that i can have is minimum okay what we mean by that is suppose the value of m is 3 okay i can break this main array into three sub arrays my task is to break this array into three sub arrays such that the the largest sum among these sub arrays uh, that that I'm creating is actually minimum. So uh, basically, if I break this array like this, uh, if I you know break one component, one sub array like this, one two three, another sub array like four, and another sub array like five, I am exactly I'm actually making you know three splits. If you think it like this, I'm actually making three splits. These are now three different sub arrays, right? Uh, so what is the maximum sub array sum that uh, these sub arrays have, and that is exactly six, right? This have the maximum value. Uh, this this has six, this has four, and this has five. Uh, so all of them have you know their different values. Their sum their sum is like this six, four, and five. And which of and uh, which of them is maximum? So this is six, right? So uh, this is actually the answer of this question. But what if you had you know tried something different? What if you had made a cut here? Okay. Uh, you have you know uh, made one two together, three four together, and five together. Then uh, the sum would have been like this, right? Three and uh, the sum of this particular array would have been seven and the sum of uh, this would have been 5 so uh, at this time the answer that you would have returned is 7 which is not exactly correct because we know that the answer the the basically the minimum largest sum that we had beforehand was 6 right so uh, i hope it's clear what we are supposed to do as we are supposed to you know break this array into uh, into basically we have to break this array into m sub arrays such that the largest sum among these m sub arrays is actually minimum among all the possibilities of splits that we can make because if, if i talk about you know breaking this array then there are n number of ways you can you know you can even make a cut here you can even make a cut here uh, and you, you can just combine three four and five but then the sum the largest sum that you will get among these sub arrays would would be i think 12 right uh, and that is not exactly correct because uh, our task is to basically minimize the largest sum so i hope it's clear now, if you think of this question, you know, all together, it will become a hell lot complicated. So let's try to think of this in a little different way. Okay. Uh, let's say, uh, let, let's try to think of a, a, a little small question that can actually help us in, you know, solving this question. So let's say I give you an array. Okay. Uh, let's have the same array. And I, uh, I give you, let's say a value, a sum. Okay. Uh, let's say five. And I, uh, and I give you the number of splits that you can make you can make three splits and the num uh, the sum that you have is five okay uh, and i and i just ask you to make a function that, that returns me a bool value true or false that can you can you actually you know split this array into three parts such that the maximum sum among, among those sub arrays is equal to five can you do that and uh since i'm just asking you to check for sub arrays that that's really simple what you can do is you can start from the very beginning right and uh, by the way, it's not a given that the array will be sorted on or not. But uh, since this is sub array, we can you know just take the contiguous part only. So you start from the very beginning and you you start moving forward, okay? And then you add your next element. The value that you will get is three, okay? And you check that is three less than five. Uh, basically, the the sum for which I have to check. And you say yes, three is less than five. So I don't have to make any split right now, okay? And then you uh, then you move one split uh, one step forward. You come here, okay? Then you get what's your sum now? Your sum is six, right? Uh, but six is greater than uh, the allotted sum. Six is greater than five, right? So you uh, you know that now you have to make a split, okay? Because uh, you can't make this particular sub array as one since the maximum sum that you can have was five, right? And this will give you six. So what you do, you you very cleverly make a split here, okay? And then you move uh, forward, okay? You add three, you add three to element. That's great. Uh, the sum does not uh, you know it does not increase. Uh, it sorry it does not exceed five. So we are good with that. And then you move one step forward. Here you add four, and you get a value of seven. So you know that okay, uh, I can't add, uh, I can't you know make both of them as a sub array because that will give me, uh, because that will exceed the allotted sum to me, right? So you 
make another split here by now you have already made two splits and you can only make three splits right uh, so uh, but but it's good till now because we have only made two splits we can all uh, we can also make one more split no sorry actually uh, I know there were three savaries right so the number of splits will be two so sorry for that uh, we have already made you know three sub -arrays. so for this we should actually return false as the answer I, I got confused with uh, the number and the split sorry uh, so this was basically you know uh, I'll have to actually make another split here so basically we have we are having like four sub -arrays. if I want to have the minimum sum five right but that is not uh, but that is uh, not happening with only three sub -arrays. for that I need like four sub -arrays. so you just have to return false as your answer okay that no I can't make sum five with three splits okay so that that's good uh, then we check for something else then i check for then i ask you that can you do uh, do that for uh, if i say that can you do the, uh, the sum is six can you do that for me and uh, you you check how will you check the, the procedure is same you start from your element okay and then you check for your next element uh three does it exceed the allotted sum it does not okay so there's no need to make an, another split then you uh then you uh, come sorry move forward and now the sum is six right does it exceed it does not right so there's no need to make split right now and then you come forward okay but now the sum is 10 10 right 10 so does it exceed the allotted sum yes it does so i know that now i have to make a partition here basically a split here so i made a split okay i have now two sub -arrays. okay great uh, at max i can have three sub -arrays. Uh, so there's no issue so uh, now i add now i add four to my uh, four to my value my current sum let's say and uh, it's four, four is less than six so it's good uh, then i try to add five so it, it will give me a value of nine which exceeds my six which exceeds six right so uh i know that i have to make a split here but what happens uh, what happened here is uh you know i have only made like two splits i have three sub -arrays and yes uh the, the uh, i can have a you know i can have a value of six right so the value that you should return me is is what uh, is basically true it means that yes with three sub -arrays for this particular array i can have the largest sum among these sub -arrays as six it is possible right so let's just try to code for that let's just try to code for this problem that we have just thought of now so let's make a function is possible and uh, i uh, uh, this s will basically give me the sum sorry this s uh, this s will basically basically give me the sum and i have my k k basically means m the number of splits i can make right so yes i already have that uh, so now let's try to code for that and the logic is same uh, the current splits that I have made initially it will be zero, right? And the current sum that I will have is zero. And then you just you know uh, sequentially move in the array that is the nums array, and you just add that into your current sum. Okay. Uh, if your current sum exceed s, uh, if the value that you are you know adding it exceed s, you know that now you are supposed to make a a split a partition, right? Uh, sorry then you just increase the split by one okay and you make your current sum equals to num that from here your new your new sub -array starts right so this is not exactly the actual problem but you know we are trying to break uh, them so it's it's simple for us but otherwise if you you know take this uh, whole together it, it becomes uh, very complicated okay so i'm just trying to check that is it possible for sum six and k3 uh, basically if i have a sum and if i have a uh, the number of sub -arrays in which i have to break it into is it possible to make uh, the, uh, those uh, those sum possible uh, so current sum is equal to now okay uh, and if i check that does the number of splits that i have made is it greater than m minus one if it is then it means that you know uh, i can't i can't actually make you know uh, only these number of sub -arrays and have a value of uh, and have that allotted sum so if that is the case you just return false otherwise if you are like successfully able to iterate uh, throughout that loop then you just return true right so this is uh, uh this is basically this this code that we have written uh this is the code that we have written for the logic that we thought of okay uh, so now so now uh, now let's come up to the actual problem because we have already solved it like 50 percent uh so now for this problem we have the the number of splits that we can make make right we have the value of m right and uh, we have the array right we have both of them uh so what what exactly is the problem with us we don't have the sum right we don't know the sum we are actually supposed to find this out right so what if i i give you the sum and uh only the, uh, then if i have this the value of this sum then i don't think this problem is really difficult so for what will i do for this sum okay how will i find out this sum it's it's very simple 
uh, let's let's take another look at this array what do you think can be the minimum value or minimum sum value for this particular array your answer should be 5 right because if you make if if i give you an opportunity to make infinite cuts right then you can make cut between you know between all these elements and uh, the maximum the largest sum among these sub arrays will be 5 right that is clear okay uh, this is the this is like the minimum value of sum that i can have okay but what uh, what what if uh, okay uh, and what can be actually be the maximum sub array sum that you can have for this particular array then your answer should be 15 right uh, because if you just try to take this complete array as one sub array then the answer then the sum that you will get will be 15 right so this actually you know acts as a range for me i know that my answer will definitely lie somewhere somewhere in between the elements maybe 6 maybe 10 maybe 15 who knows but i know that my answer will definitely lie somewhere between these elements let me just write them down okay so what we can do is i know the number of cuts that i have to make i have my array the only thing that i needed was sum right so i start from 5 i i start from 5 i i start you know sequentially and then i check that is it possible to have a sum of 5 with only these splits if you return me true then that's great that's my answer because you know i'm starting in the increasing order then that the first uh, the first value that returns me true is uh, basically my answer so th that's good but uh, what if it what if it gives me false so i move one step forward and i check for the next element and this way i'll just keep on moving forward uh, till the time i first encounter true because true means that yes i can have this sum with these number of splits for this particular array right so i just return that as my answer but the problem with this is uh, the array that i've taken is very small uh, the array can be very large so if you do a linear search you'll definitely get a tle uh, so now let's try to optimize the search a little bit more uh, if you take a look at this then this is like a sorted array and for sorted array we can use a binary search and binary search will you know reduce the time complexity to just log in so this will be my low value this will be my high value and then i'll you know i'll start searching from the middle i check for this element is it uh, is it possible for you know is it possible to have this sum with this number of splits if it returns me true then it means that my answer lies somewhere in the left side including that array including that particular element also right if it returns me false that no you can't actually make you know sum of 10 with these number of splits then my answer lies somewhere on the right region right so this way i'll you know uh, basically make my search small and at the end whenever my low is equal to high uh, you know uh, because you can't just uh, the first value that you get true for binary search you can't return that because who knows uh, maybe you get true for 10 right you get true for 10 but the answer actually rides at 6 so you just have to you know keep uh, searching till the time your low and high meets and where your low and high meets that is your answer so let's let's try to you know just uh, make code for that uh, binary search basically yeah uh, so what will be my low my low will be basically uh, my low will be what my low will be the maximum element in that uh, in that array because if i make you know if i make all the elements individually as a sub array then the maximum value out of all of those will be my low right and what will be my high my high will be uh, the sum of all the elements in that particular array right uh, so now let's just start with a binary search why low is less than high right uh, why low is less than high okay uh, my mid will be equal to low plus high floor division 2 okay now i just have to check for you know is it possible that uh, can i can i have this sum with these number of splits i have my splits i have my array the only thing i needed was sum and now i'm just calculating my sum so i just pass my mid okay if it returns me true it means that my answer lies somewhere on the left side so for that what will i do i make my high equals to mid not mid minus 1 because you know high itself can be the sorry the mid value itself can be the answer so i have to include that otherwise uh, otherwise i'll make my you know my low equals to mid plus one which means that uh my answer lies somewhere in the right side and at the end whenever this 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 you know this loop stops uh whatever value my low is pointing that is supposedly my answer so let's try to run this code uh current sum plus equals to nums Okay, so let's try to submit this now.
yeah so it works and uh, this was uh, my answer for this uh, problem of planetary largism and thank you for watching if you have any queries feel free to ask them in the comment section